What's going on guys? Welcome back to this episode of Customs and Restoration with Vic. For today's project, we're going to be pulling inspiration from one of the rarest Nike SBs ever created, the 2003 eBay Dunks. From what I know of, there's only two pairs ever created. One of them got chopped up into little pieces, the second one got auctioned off for charity. This shoe isn't exactly it, but we're going to make them look as close as possible to the 2003 shoe. While I was on the hunt for the perfect base shoe for this project, I came across these 101 Nike ID eBay inspired Dunks. Guess where I found them? on eBay. So without further ado, let's get it started. We're gonna get started by taking out our shoelaces, inserts, insoles, and go straight to taping. Good to go with the tape job, now we're gonna go straight to laying down our white paint using the angler brush. This material isn't really leather, so we don't have to worry about the prep work using acetone and cotton balls. White is laid down on the toe boxes, same thing with this back area, it's starting to look like that eBay shoe from 2003. Now we're going to move on to laying down some different colors. We're going to start off with laying down the yellow. I covered up the original yellow because it was a little bit too flat. This next yellow that we're going to lay down is a lot more vibrant, but first we got to do some taping. All covered up, let's lay down our opaque yellow paint from Jacquard. Yellow paint is laid down, it looks great. Now we're on to the red. Same exact thing, we're gonna lay down a brighter red with more vibrancy. So far so good, we got some of the red paint laid down. We're gonna take a quick break and head over to the Lazy Green Room to do some details. These signs is 95, I like it. But you already know man, we got one shot at this. One shot. We're back from laser engraving. Julie did an awesome job designing this. Reselling since 95 in the eBay font. The 95 is from the year they were established. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay down some black paint. It's looking good. Now we're onto some more details. 
Over here, we got our eBay dust bag. These are provided anytime you buy a pair of used shoes that don't come in the box that go through the authentication service. On the side, they have these perfect little eBay tags. We're gonna go in, remove them from the bags, apply them to both of these shoes. Simply what we're gonna do is do a little slice right here, slide them in, and then sew them in place. eBay tags are in place. That was a lot easier than I thought. It looks really good. Originally, I said I was gonna go in and sew it in place. The thing is, I don't have to. The stitching is still in place thanks to the paint. So what I'm gonna do to make it easier, that's just as good enough, we're gonna glue it in place using some Barge Super Stick. Back to the painting, now we're on to the blue color. We're gonna go in, lay down the blue on the blue and cover up this white. Now we're on to the last color, the green. The green on here isn't that bad, but I want it to be lighter and more vibrant. So we're gonna tape it off so we can airbrush it. We had to go with the green. Those are the eBay colors, so we're done with the paint job. And the final detail we gotta take care of is the tongues. We're gonna remove the tongue tags and replace them with these custom Nike tags. These are in the old school eBay font. Shout out to Julie for designing these and big shout out to D-Nice Customs for supplying these. We're gonna cut these off and sew these on. Tongue tags are in place, they turn out awesome. Now the final detail we gotta take care of before we lace the shoe up, we got our custom insoles. These are designed by our creative director, Eric. These insoles are inspired by eBay's design, and on the bottom it has thank you from the Rushumulator team, cause they will be going directly to the eBay headquarters. Big shout out to D-Nice Customs for hooking us up. Now let's put them inside the shoes and lace them up. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on these custom Nike eBay Dunks. The execution on these came out beautiful. I pulled a lot of inspiration from the original super rare 2003 eBay Dunks. The color blocking on the shoe is almost identical. The thing is, I couldn't replicate it down to a T just because the shoe isn't made out of pound leather or on the back it doesn't have the Nike in the eBay font. So when I realized that, I went ahead and added my own twist. But let's take it from the top. The base shoe that I started off with was a 2021 Nike ID. It already had the perfect colors, but it wasn't exact. So I had to go in, lay down a bunch of white on the toe box and this back area. After that, I had to go in and make the colors a bit more vibrant. The yellow was a bit too dull, so we added a more vibrant yellow. Same thing with the green and red. After that was adding my own twist. We went ahead and added the reselling since 1995. This is a cool detail just because they've been around since 1995 and they've been selling everything ever since. For the tag, we added this really cool Nike logo. This was inspired by the original eBay font. It was originally on the back of the 2003 eBay dunk on this back piece, so I had to make sure I got it somewhere on the shoe. My favorite detail about this whole custom by far are these eBay tags on both sneakers. I almost didn't add this detail. I realized that there was no eBay branding anywhere on the sneaker. Then I remember on the dust bags, it had these little tags. That was definitely inspired by Union. 
Then we wrapped it up by adding these sick custom insoles, thanking the eBay team from Rejuvenator. This custom came out so clean, it sucks that they're my size because I would definitely rock these. Now it's time to pack these up and send these to eBay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys. Chill on me.